Okay, so this has been asked by many people here to uh, make a video on this old Myers plow, a demonstrational video for you guys here today. Got a little bit of freezing ice pellets the night before. So the whole yard, well, it needs to be cleaned up. As we can see, we got a big windrow at the end of the driveway. We gotta clean that up. I'm gonna let the truck warm up. I parked the, uh, the plow facing the sun so that the plow pump will actually kind of warm up. Uh, I have a bit of a problem when it's really cold outside with the plow pump. Sometimes it's really sluggish, so I just kind of park it in the sun to uh, allow the fluid to warm up. I'm just gonna, you see the windshield's all froze up, so I'm just gonna let it thaw out. And uh, let it warm up for a bit. And we'll get started. We'll uh, make a few passes here in the yard and uh, clean up the yard a bit here. Okay, so we're gonna start things off. We're gonna uh, get situated here. Just got the blade a couple inches off the ground for the time being. I, uh, I don't usually lift it all the way up. I don't even do that while transporting either. A couple inches is good. stuff is all ice pellets. It's a little more difficult to try and navigate through. It's kind of hard to walk on. start off I'm just going to um, float down until it, the blade just touches the ground. I'm not going to um, force it down any farther than that because I don't want to dig into the ground um, or the trip springs will actually cause the blade to trip forward. So what I'm going to do here just like that until the blade is actually touching the ground then I just I let off there that's good enough and then I go ahead to uh, proceed to push the snow hell out of my where I was. Um, sometimes, if it uh, depends on what kind of mood I'm in, um, I do have moods. Uh, sometimes I'll ramp, uh, I'll make a windrow either to the left or to the right, and then um, I'll uh, either just make a big windrow, I've had them as high as the doors of the truck, literally, and then just phew, straight bladed across the road, whatever. You know, a lot of the plow enthusiasts might, uh, you know, Come up with some sort of ignorant snarky remark for that but you know what it's just in order to get rid of all the snow so but usually i just nine times out of ten i usually just straight blade it uh kind of like this because i have all the time in the world so i'm just gonna um uh, float the blade down until the blade just touches the ground i could always push the button more and notice that the blade actually curled in a little bit um i don't usually do that because the cutting edge will actually you know, dig right into the ice and whatever else, and the trip springs will just, you know, there's no point. And uh, I don't go very fast with it either. I mean, this modern speed, you know, the transmission never leaves first gear. It's basically like this. Because the snow is actually rolling off quite easy because it's mostly ice pellets, I am going to windrow it. Um, other than that, because either of that or I'm going to make about half a million passes before I get the job done here. So I'm going to actually windrow it this time. If it's wet stuff, then I usually just you know, wind 
grows into one neat pile, even if you straight blade it. So I'm going to try it. I'm going to windrow it to the... towards the end of the driveway and then I'm just going to straight blade it across the road. Uh, so I'll, I'll give that a try. So float it down on the ground. Straightforward, so I'm going to keep doing that um, until I make my windrow all the way down to the end of the driveway. Because it's just uh, the plow blade is freshly clear coated and fresh paint on it, and I freshly waxed it too not too long ago, so it actually uh, the snow slides right off it. Like I mean, literally just like butter. A little bit of scientific uh, mumble jumble about this plow. It's an old Myers plow. It's an E47 pump, I believe, that's on it. Um, it's it's old. I mean, the pump could be rebuilt. There's no doubt about it. That won't be this year. I'd probably end up just replacing the pump. Uh, they are discontinued, but uh, they do make rebuild kits for them. And that may last forever. Look at that rolling action, it just slides it right off there. It's beautiful.
big chunk of ice on the roof that I'm trying to get rid of. Oh, come on, there it goes. Ah. All right, so right now I'm just uh, cleaning up a little bit here. It's right in front of the door, so I don't have to backlight it. This, uh, this plow wasn't all that great for backlighting. All right, so I'm going to back up a bit. The blade was too high. listening to the turbo but there's something the matter with it you can also see black smoke pouring out of it love diesels absolutely love diesels well, I never plow into the banks either I kind of give the truck a bit of a, a bit of a chance you know I don't like to abuse my equipment either so I don't hit ice heaves either at 30 mile an hour because that's not really good on the equipment. So I'm going to clean this up here and uh, we'll start somewhere else.